indulge in discussion with our chief guest. You can ask and discuss your queries. The stage is all up for you. It's your time. Thank you. Uh, it was so great to listen to you, Mr. Sarim, and we feel honored and proud. At this age, this is such a knowledge. I can say it's God's gift. And really, inshallah, you will be a genius which you are. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your blessings. I have I a have small question because I had been a student of physics long back. What's the difference between the theory of relativity and the theory of uniformity now? And about the Newton's laws of motion or other, are they still implemented in the same way or there is now absolutely a paradigmal shift because the physics has advanced as anything. I just want to know from you, sir. Um, so as I told you that, uh, as I had previously told you, the theory of relativity, if you look at it, it's a theory. What does, first of all, you have to understand, what does relativity itself mean? What relativity means is that uh, whenever you have any object moving, so as it moves, the distances and the positions and the times actually are relative terms. That's what the relativity term means. The theory of relativity, if you look at it, it's itself perceived to be a wrong theory as of now. Now, if it is a wrong theory, first of all, I'd like to tell you why do we use it in the first place? The first reason is that we don't right now have a more advanced theory that actually adds to our understanding of gravity or our understanding of space and time. That's the first reason. The second reason is that right now, the domain that we have to work in, and that is the main difference whenever you have to differentiate between two theories. The domain that we are working on in right now the domain that we are working in right now is actually what matters the most. When you consider relativity, so its domain where you are actually using relativity is when you approach really high speeds. If you are not at really high speeds, then even when you try to apply relativ relativity, what you get again to is Newton's laws of motion. So here, if you want to differentiate between any two kinds of theories, it's basically the domain to which you have to understand the nature in that particular, let's say, in that particular system or how the physical laws are working in that particular system. Now here, regarding Newton's laws, so as I have already told you just in my previous line, the domain is what matters. Newton's laws are is still applied just as ever. They're still as much used as ever. And why are they so? Because we get to Einstein's relativity or other modern theories, the quantum mechanics or the quantum field theory or whatever other theories you have in, uh, in physics right now. Only when we get to really high speeds or really high gravitational forces and fields or really subatomic levels and submolecular levels, we might want to use quantum mechanics or relativity or whatever other theories in physics in that case. But when we are not at those speeds or at those large scales or small scales, when we want to use them in our everyday lives, we still use Newton's laws of motion and only. And that is why, as I said, that F equals MA is the single most important law in all of physics, in all of physical sciences. Because it is just as much used as ever, even right now, when we know that F equals MA, the law itself breaks or it may bend in order uh, to basically compensate for the increase of mass in this particular thing, what you call the relativistic mass as suggested by Einstein. So regarding whether we still use it, yes, we still use it just as much as ever as we had been doing even when we have to launch rockets or send satellites in space, we still use Newton's laws of motion. When we have to understand what is going on in the Large Hadron Collider, then we get to really modern theories. Otherwise, actually, whatever theories you are using, whether it be the theory of relativity or quantum mechanics, when applied in that particular domain, it will result to you only the Newton's laws of motion.